From an Israeli drone, you can see the car of Hamas's military commander driving along a quiet street in Gaza City. The missile appeared to come out of nowhere. <laughs> Ahmed Jabari didn't have a chance. His car burned to its shell. Within hours, Israeli airstrikes killed two more senior Hamas militants and destroyed major weapons storage facilities. The assassination of Jabari marked the start of Operation Pillar of Cloud against Hamas and Islamic Jihad in response to a week of militant rockets launched in southern Israel and the missile attack of an army jeep, as shown in this video, provided by the attackers. At a press conference, Israel's prime minister promised, quote, anything needed to defend our citizens. He continued, we are ready to bring in more forces if needed, alluding to a ground offensive similar to 2008 when Israel sent in tanks for a bloody month-long street-to-street battle against Hamas fighters. In Gaza, Jabari's killing stunned Hamas, both with its demonstration of Israel's real-time intelligence and the resumption of targeted killings. God willing, said this Hamas official, the Zionist enemy will pay a price. Within hours, the retaliation began with Grad rockets fired at Beersheba, Israel's largest southern city. So far, the Iron Dome defense system has intercepted many of the incoming rounds, but its protection is far from absolute. Hamas says that Israel, quote, opened the gates of hell with their attacks, but Israel's strikes may have crippled one of the militant group's main trump cards. That's rockets that can fly from here on the Gaza Strip up to Tel Aviv. Tonight, the sound of F-16 fighter jets is in the air as they continue to bomb Gaza. It is 1.20, 1.30 in the morning here right now. In about 12 hours, Hamas will bury their dead, and then we will know whether they decide to call it a day or if these salvos tonight are just the opening of another war. Chris? Leland Vittert reporting from the Israel-Gaza border. Uh, Leland, thanks for that.